Street dances all over the world. Gone in 20 Minutes is an emerging artist commissioning programme supported by Arts Council England. We have commissioned six companies. We're selecting emerging artists or artists who are changing their discipline and then supporting them to make new pieces of work. So the idea of the programme is that they aren't finished pieces, but they develop as they're performed and presented over the course of the programme. Today we're on Bankside, fantastic site outside the Tate Modern. The other is at Oxo Tower Wharf. Both of them are in Southwark, who are supporting this programme. Working outdoors is the most exciting environment that you can work with. The people that watch these shows are not necessarily people that would go to theatres. You're putting stuff in front of them and getting them to engage with work that otherwise they wouldn't see. This show addresses issues and thoughts and feelings felt by people with uh, different types of visual impairment and it aims to bridge the gap between those who are visually impaired and those who are sighted. The different colours of our outfits, what they do is they help make the show more visible uh, for people with visual impairment. Each dancer has a, a different block colour. Within our research, it also suggests that breakdance is one of the most visible art forms um, for people with visual impairment. So hence why a lot of our movements were chosen choreographically to in incorporate large dynamic breakdance movements. For us to be a part of this is great because we also get a chance to grow and develop along the process. So the show that we started off with at the beginning of the tour is very different from the show that you're seeing uh, today. And I'm sure it'll be very different from the show that you'll see at the end of the tour as well. What we have just performed is a science fiction ritual. It consists of seven musicians playing specially composed music whilst we uh, move around in a choreographed fashion. And it's uh, supposed to be uh, these dyads that have come from space. Dualistic man machines. Dualistic man machines that have come from space and are creating a ritual to try and um, bring harmony between man and machine. We're learning a lot about sound on the street, um, which we are having difficulties with sometimes. But uh, yeah, it's been a development process. We fuse many aspects of music, circus, tap dance, and we meld it all together into an entertaining show that anyone can get. And it's a, a rhythmical piece that can play all over the world because there's no speaking and no dialogue in the show. We mix together juggling with instruments to make an overall sound piece. It's our first time outdoors and we're loving it and the production staff and everybody about GN20 is absolutely brilliant, it's been superb. Yeah, the, the support and the feedback has been especially really, really useful. Like We've tried to take it on board as much as we could. <laughs> Urban Astronaut is a street theatre production we've been working on using an adapted version of like a camera jib. We wanted to make someone fly. It's a bit scary when you're 20 foot in the air and you're, you're dangling over the Thames. We saw that six million people this year will die from air pollution. We wanted to bring that message to, to the masses and the idea of having an astronaut being able to travel down the street and this idea of having to have this breathing apparatus and what is it that helps us breathe? They're the things that we're chopping down, it just makes no sense. Having the GI20 team watch you and, and be that critical friend, they're not trying to hurt you, they're just trying to improve you and trying to push outdoor arts, and I, I think it's fantastic. Good afternoon, esteemed guests. Our company is called Jobs For All Limited. Now, before I tell you a little more about this, I'd like to show you just what it is this machine can do. The idea was really to figure out how to use this machine in the outdoor space. And also it was dealing with work of people and so we wanted to actually explore the situation when performers are not calling the audience to kind of perform in the show but to do a real work. This is a 100% safe investment. Gone in 20 minutes is to show work in progress. So it's at this very early stage and is still finding its own way. Often, especially with outdoor performances, there's not so much of a platform for that. So it's, it's really nice to have this opportunity. So we begin with uh, some string that measures the space. And then with chalk, 
we draw around the perimeter and then we wait for people to enter and then it all kicks off from there. Yeah, I think actually the audience are quite quick to figure out the rules. If not the person that's come in, then definitely the people that are observing around the sides. Alongside copying the spatial pattern of the audience, we uh, just add movement. With each show we get a new set of information which makes the work richer and gives us more kind of clues about how we're going to operate and how it might go forward. This really allows the work to kind of sing. Yeah, it's, it's just a great opportunity for growth, really. I think everybody should do it who wants to get into the street theatre world. Go for it and think big, don't think small. And I think that that's what GI20 is about. If it's something that you're still, the idea is not fully formed, don't be afraid to apply. Be ambit as, as, as ambitious as possible. Make a spectacular show. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs>